most of 2020 and all of 2021 was stolen from humanity. Plans, dreams, businesses, health, relationships, well-being, privacy, sanity, livelihood, life, all stolen. Stolen by extraordinary deceit and also stolen by extraordinary denial of that deceit. The last two years can't be retrieved, but they can be learned from. Continuing to cooperate with those who have stolen your time, stolen your movement, stolen your dignity and your peace. Continuing to cooperate with such filth will ensure the technocratic enslavement of this planet. Don't cooperate with evil. Reclaim your time. Reclaim your life. A lot of humans are waiting for someone to do something about all these unacceptable events. Too many don't realize that they themselves are the someone they've been waiting for. Sovereignty is waking up to your own innate power and wielding it in your life. Don't schedule things that drain you or violate your values. Time sovereignty is having the social courage to say no when needed. A lot of humanity is conditioned to be fake and insincere in exchange for social and material gain. That is exactly how so many are now ignoring the truth of their gut wisdom and internal sense of decency. Manage your time from a place of self-respect rather than neediness or fear. Break from paths and people that aren't headed in your same direction of sanity and vitality. Calls, meetings, and all scheduled things are chances to enjoy and express the truth of who you are. Now is a great time to ask yourself, how many hours will I give to things and people that repress my true and vital self? Commit to your own life path and you won't fall prey to someone else's. 2022, according to you. Were you raised to believe that obedience is virtuous and authoritarianism is just how the world is ordered? Or were you conditioned to believe that this world is a benign place and that you can trust what you see and hear at face value? Like Santa, some beliefs are universally accepted and still entirely untrue. At some point, every Santa believer has to come to face the rude awakening that it was all a lie. And for various reasons, that lie gets generationally continued, preparing young minds for normalized, commercialized dishonesty. But it's never too late to start embedding habits and beliefs that empower one conscious decision at a time. Here is a seven point checklist to help you choose the highest use of your time. Before committing yourself or a large chunk of your time to something, you might want to first consider one, is this thing mostly passive voyeuristic consumption? or can it lead to proactive, catalytic creation? Two, will this thing feed into worrying and waiting? Or, inspiration and initiation? Three, am I seeking approval or source? Four, do I prioritize good think, which is consciousness, over group think? which is consensus. Five, I guard my eyes, which are the front gates to the temple in my head. 
news, advertising, social media, movies, and games enter through the eye gates. Six, I guard my ears, which are the back gates to the temple in my head. Conversation, music, and podcasts enter through the ear gates. And seven, I guard my mouth, which is the front door to the temple in my head. Speaking, singing, eating, and kissing happens at the front door. If we would be completely truthful with ourselves about what is good for us and what is good to us, everything would favorably change in the blink of an eye. 2022, according to you.